I find myself marveling at the complex simplicity of the Fibonacci spiral. I'm sure you know what that's like. Something vexing you, Captain? Bokonu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. Impressive, as always. There it is. Just yank the drive, and I'll do the rest. Now that we have the data cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar is. Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bitcart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? Oh, it's nothing. I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding him. It was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. Windows knock you out bar. A CCN 76 milk chocolate bar with caramel and pea free nuts in it. It's not your KYL. This is Halcyon Duval. Scheduled advertisement for the following story. from the dangers of alien wildlife and jumping
This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Remember Auntie Because she remembers you. When you were sick, who took your temperature? When you were hungry, who gave you an... How do you do? And uh, welcome to the rest and go. We used to be the go and rest, but folks never knew when to leave. Sorry, business has been slow. Anything to occupy the time. Didn't quite catch that. Uh, you'll have to speak up. Glass ear? Sorry, there, there's a lot of static on my end. Nothing to fear. I, sorry again. The sound of Groundbreaker's engines has really got to me over the years. Huh? What? Huh. Now that I heard. Of course. Most of our supplies come and go through merchants. Company ships and salvage runs are the only traffic we tend to get. I try and steer clear of that creepy fellow in the moon mask. If there's a cost to being a company man, he paid it in spades. your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Tossball finals are scheduled to air soon, but a scandal has rocked the league and thrown this pivotal game into question. Both teams have tested negative for performance-enhancing stims. A tossball first. Coaches and referees are debating how, and if, this behavior could lead to an unfair advantage. Your drink, man. If you want anything else, just flag me. Just keep coming around. If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a touch late. What do you want then? My hard earned wisdom? Groundbreakers radiators. Been neither fine nor dandy for weeks now. Miss Junley's supposed to be getting them fixed, but the board's determined to get in her way. 
The board can't abide a community that won't bend to its will. They've always got one scheme or another running, looking for ways to bring us to heel. Like this heat business. Shameful. But it won't work. No, sir. Groundbreaker's free till the day she dies, law willing. That's right, dearie. The only independent station in the colony. That's us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends on Miss June Lay. Chief June Lay Tennyson. Used to be she was chief engineer before her mama passed, and she took the helm. She's neck deep in the ship guts by day, slap fighting with the board by night. Bit straight laced for my tastes, but that's just her nature. She's fierce, too. A fighter. And between you and me, I think the fight's starting to wear on her. This heat problem we've got's gone unfixed for weeks. Can't say I know what the holdup is, but I'm sure she's trying her best. The board can't abide a community that won't bend to its will. They've always got one scheme or another running, looking for ways to bring us to heel. Like this heat business. Shameful. But it won't work. No, sir. Groundbreaker's free till the day she dies, law willing. And it's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. Taste the freedom. A lot of slogans to keep track of. And sometimes I forget. Heard of it? My orientation aether wave showed that famous Saltuna cannery, which I'm sure smells as good as it looks. That's true. Yeah. I hope they're gonna be okay. That's a spacious choice, Spirit. Take what you have, polish it up, and make the best of it. So, what can I get you? Some soap? Everyone loves soap. Everyone will love you for using it, too. Uh, have a look.
Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever gonna get my service mechanicals at this rate. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of Yona terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local ward embassy. This are is those a XF 411s? And an old Yakita 37? You think they'd let me peek at the power plant? Spacer's choice calls rumor of a Saltuna shortage patently baseless. The Edgewater Cannon Facility... Thought there'd be more machinery. Must be housed on a sublevel. I could spend all day in here and not have looked at half the best stuff. It's all pretty worn, though. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Good for you. Hope you scared some sense into those bureaucrats giving you trouble. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. They want us to sweat, thinking that'll soften me up for a bad faith deal. If you'll excuse me, they can go fuck themselves. The board isn't helping, and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back base. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned, and a haven for miscreants now. Good. 
Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Speak your mind. Honestly, I could use the distraction. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Right! In person. Sh sure thing, Captain. Wow, great! I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your... Regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Following that series? The hunt for the Wimbrel? It's the pirate ship? I go in for Dr. Oh, neat! They got stuff in here I ain't seen in ages. Now, this should prove interesting, to say the least. Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. You the one flying the unreliable? Sure you are. Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and Executive Director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. Charmed. It's nice to see the Unreliable again. Useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. I didn't ask. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings. But there's a catch. Just like in the serials. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? I like that initiative, but ease back on the throttle. Gladys at the rest and go might have what you need. If there's anything else, be quick about it.
time is bits. These days, the scrap business all but runs itself. Gives me the time to expand our interests into other sectors, where I can let my hair down. Our field is persuasive acquisitions. At least, that's how my legal advisors tell me to phrase it. Not all of our salvage is abandoned when we find it. Sometimes it takes a polite conversation and a shot across the bow. You know, legal formalities. Good boy. Knew you'd understand. Very. I have this thing about numbers in spreadsheets. Grids in general. I like to think of myself as the last honest businesswoman in Halcyon, but I'll settle for being the most organized one. Be seeing you. Make sure you aren't followed on your way out. Is it hot in here? Or is it just my glands acting up again? Straight to the point, eh? All right then, on you go. Ask the common folk, and they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Because that's what the board tells them, you see. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony, and they're trying to hide the evidence. Those board folk are real prideful-like. Never want you looking behind the curtain, lest you see their derrieres. But old Gladys knows the score. The whole colony's not much more than a diorama, showcasing one board screw-up after another. That's why we gotta keep them from getting their grubby mitts on Crownbreaker. She's our mess. Probably. Every once in a while, we get these snippets of radio chatter. Edna shows them to me. Some man hooting and hollering about the light in us all. Claims he's transmitting from Monarch, but who knows if that's true. Might be true. Might be some new trick from the board. Any time, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. How do you do? Ah, oh, how might I assist you?
Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. Kind and efficient. Can't say I disapprove. Although, seeing as this woman isn't a member of our crew, it'd be nice if the price weren't quite so high. I think you may have underestimated the size of Miss Doyle's debt. If you'll look over this itemized bill... I am extremely anguished, Captain. Please respect my feelings in this difficult time. I doubt Mr. Bedford's ever felt real pain. We could introduce him to the sort of suffering that actually constitutes extreme anguish. For the good of his understanding, of course. Be careful you don't irritate my guards, Vicar. You might not like their rather narrow understanding of what constitutes excessive force. Unless you can offer some other means of resolving her debt, I'm afraid we have nothing further to discuss. That's not unreasonable. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but... I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt, and the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? You might be surprised, but we'll proceed on the assumption she'll be reasonable. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? I wish I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. At least you finally got your chance to square a debt. That ought to make you smile for once, huh? Nothing makes me happier than being even. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to, I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway, and you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. But we can say I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. You won't be sorry, though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Traveling in style, are we? I'll be sure to nab a cabin with a view. Dr. Fenhill, glad you opted to join us. It'll be good to have a Sawbones on the crew. Got word from Udom, from the hitman who trailed me the other night? Seems I'm indentured to the board now. I ain't too elated about going exclusive, but it's better than winding up dead. You sure saved my skin, stranger. All debts between me and Ellie are cleared.
Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. Uh, speaking for myself, Captain, I am not of a mind to be murdered by a psychopath who plays with fire. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. I know this ain't a toy, neighbor from above. It's a catalyst, just like me. Keep talking. I like the sound of your voice. That's right, sir. Just the parts. We'll be in and out in a jiff. You won't even know we were here. Tennyson just keeps feeding the furnace, don't she? We're still playing with her last sacrifice out back with the crew. You don't just ask a king for a favor when you're standing in his court. You bring tribute, sacrifices, prophecy, shit like that. Under its skin, this ship is all poison and darkness. Lead bones, asbestos muscle. Maybe you're right. You've got the run of the kingdom. Up those stairs, you'll find the parts. My crew won't get in your way. It smells kind of like old Bess's outflow pipes. Uh, you get that automatic patch? McCred wants it up and running. I'm trying to think of a good name before I wake it up. Don't give it a name. What are you thinking? It's so... cozy. We can move on to cleaner pastures. You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight mantipillar infestation.
don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you.
Unexpected. Watch out! Nice hit! Down they go! We were destined to prevail. Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Concerned citizens often ask why there aren't enough new faces in the Halcyon colony. We all want new neighbors from time to time. Our studies have shown that a controlled population is inversely proportional to consumer happiness. Fewer colonists means there's more paradise for the rest of us to enjoy. My boys are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds.
CNP Borst Pocket can be macrolived in two and a half seconds. Borst Pocket. Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch. Here's a double plate. Purple Berry Flavored Power Nugget. Now with 12% more crunch. You see we had a conveyor pull in? One of them interstellar jobs. Hard to miss something that big. Guess your shuttle bay crews have been working overtime. Hey, you got a second? Hey, we don't know each other yet, but I'm Felix Millstone. I was in the middle of a little discussion with the local authorities when you passed me by. I noticed your ship in port. Got to thinking you might be looking for some crew, so I wandered by, just to take a closer look. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine-looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. What? No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, maybe a little. I'm not trying to be all creepy-like. I just want to make a good case for myself. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. Oh, okay. Well, uh, can you give me a couple of pointers? Sure, I can be myself. I can be myself better than anybody else in the system. You're looking for crew. I'm looking for a way off this port, so we've got something in common already. And yeah, I know I came on a little strong, but honestly, when was the last time anybody was so eager to throw in with you? That's gotta count for something, right? Sure, an interview. That sounds fair. I mean, first time for everything, right? Ask me anything you like. Uh, it's delicious. Mock apple pie and a triple kale crust, maybe with a little cream on top? Classic. I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me, always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. That's when I broadsided him with a toss ball stick. Yeah. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not gonna regret this. I'll just gather my personals and meet you on board. This is gonna be great. You got a crew now, Felix. Hail, Captain. Your return time is within 14% of the expected value. Welcome back, Captain. 
How can I be of assistance? Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... there's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth, the unemployed. For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no! No, no, no! Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Vaughn Cortez, and Orson Shaw. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Where in Terra 2? Any crew traveling to Roseway will find themselves unofficially in officially uncharted space. Roseway has been removed from all Halcyon charts, and anything I could tell you, I can't tell you, because it's illegal. Why else do humans do anything? I believe the decision was a result of money squabbles. I wish I could say more, but as I previously stated, it is against Colony Ordinance C59-002Y. Ah, uh, here we go. Due to catastrophic financial losses, Redacted reportedly abandoned the town, shutting down 99.2% of all operations. However, there is an unsubstantiated rumor that Redacted, in actuality, continued to secretly develop Redacted products by experimenting on Redacted, imported from Redacted, how very revealing. Take care. I require a functioning captain to run the ship. I need a word. This Roseway business smells. Something tells me things didn't end well for the guy who made the distress call. And whoever or whatever got him will be waiting for us. What's there to know, Captain? Shady corporate town caught up in shady corporate shit. Tough luck for them, but maybe an opportunity for us. I'm counting on it. Anyway, we might as well take a look out there, see if we can get the jump on whoever's waiting for us. As always, I am at your disposal. Anything you'd like to discuss?
Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well... She sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. But real sweet. She rhymed compression alternator with aches to meet her. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kind of. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't, I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. I actually had another message from Jun Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that. Right now. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel? Who's... who's Isabel? They were close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. I don't know. June Lei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? Lost Hope? Thanks, Captain. I'll be ready. No security. Not that I'm complaining.
Hell of a welcome. Nice and easy. Please clear, 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 clear the roadway. Obstruction of commerce is punishable by a fine of no, no, no less than ten, ten, ten thousand bits. Real slick. Warning. Pathing obstruction. Organic organic materials detected on ro 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 roadway. Please ensure mechanism tinisms are free of grip crystal. De delays in loading due to commerce obstruction structure will be deducted from all staff pay.
materials detected on ro 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 roadway. Please ensure mechanisms mechanisms are free of grip reversal. Delays in loading due to commerce obstruction structure will be deducted from all staff. like we missed the fun.
I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. Um, forget I said anything about that. Distress call, from here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. Alarms went off. Uh, wish they tasted like sissy pig. <laughs> Them's good eating. Some say chicken. I say the north end of a southbound woolly cow. Anything else you'd like to know? Oh, before I forget. Anti-Cleos makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap Spacer's Choice pedals. You picked a hell of a day to visit. I'm Vaughn. Vaughn Cortez. Uh, Dr. Vaughn Cortez. But just Vaughn's fine, really. Over in the main labs. I rabbited back here when I realized I was hearing gunshots, not blown fuses. We've been cooped up in here, I don't know, hours? Too long. I have to get back to, to work. Dr. Crane might say otherwise. Me? When those guys started shooting the place up, I was first out the door. I had to leave an experiment running at the lab. Something I've been working on a long while. Something that could really get me ahead. Know what I mean? I've been extracting organic compounds from raptodons. Compounds that have, um, benefits. Whoa, slow down. Benefits? In certain social situations. Personal situations. Where you might want to, um, enhance your charisma. Oh, for... He's making enraptured, Captain. An aphrodisiac. Wrapped musk is the main ingredient. What? No. I mean, yes, I'm getting the musk. 
With Monarch Embargo, the price is sky high. But I'm not making the drug. Sure. Of course. Our lab's south of here, down the road. Not the old public lab, the one past that, built into the mountainside. The newer lab is built for, um, more sensitive work. We mostly use the old lab for storage these days. My equipment's in the lower levels, way in the back. I have a big room all to myself, dissection tables and whatnot. It should have been running this whole time. Just grab the results and bring them here. Great! <sighs> this is really gonna save my ass. So those charisma-enhancing benefits he was talking about, it was just blowing smoke, right? Yeah, boss? Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child, abandoned at birth in the back bays. That's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. Honestly, before you picked me up, I was living in the back bays. Spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. I always wondered when my ship would come. I was what folks on the Groundbreaker call a stowaway. Means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. Stowaways ain't free. We were just as trapped as anybody else. We didn't belong in the system, but we still had to live in it. We still had to play by the board's rules. Imagine spending your whole life looking out at the stars. And knowing you could never aspire to be anything more than a box hauler. That's what it's like. Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. The foreman and I never got on. Could be I was overreacting. A better man might have turned the other cheek. Exercised a little bit of that, what's the word? restraint. But on the other hand, broadsiding the jackass with a toss ball stick, that felt good. That felt real good. You want to try it. Oh, I can do civilized. Proper civilized too. Genuflecting and everything. I caught a real lucky break. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be back at the docks, waiting for the day my ship arrives. Yeah, I guess my ship did arrive in the end. I've got you to thank for that. Thanks for listening, boss. Let's get going. I've stayed in worse. If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? Y yes, yes. Anton Crane, lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Yes, yes, of course. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. 
if those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. You have a point there. It most decidedly cannot make this situation any worse. All right. We were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. Yes, but don't kill their mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and key card. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original by the Grand Architect. Jameson, he's in the old lab. That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were. And far too much paperwork. Of course they do. Please don't mistake my ambition for callousness. If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. Fifty bit says this guy's already wrapped fodder. Hey boss, can we get some Rizzos? I told you, you're staying put. You're not listening. We can stop this. The only thing stopping this beast is high caliber kinetics. Uh, we close the vent shaft. The vent shaft are how the Rathodons are getting out of the lab. Ah, outlaws, I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick. Please? Oh, you aren't with the outlaws? Who are you then? Oh, well, good luck. Now, if you got the carpet in your hands, it's just a matter of... Ah, arson, you idiot. Just put it... Ah, of course, because I didn't... What does it look like? I'm preparing a personal defense device, or trying to, anyway. I... why, yes, I suppose I could. Thanks. No, uh, well, yes, well, no, perhaps. I left schematics in our storage facility. As far as I know, the security commander hasn't found them yet. I admit I'd feel better were they returned to me. 
Out the south gate. Follow the road. It'll be on the left, past the old lab. Say, uh, you wouldn't happen to have a tube of thermal paste on you, would you? Blast! Well, good luck. I hope I see you back here in one piece. I don't think you're supposed to be wandering around. Security's gonna tell you to make tracks. Wanna treat yourself before you go? Something for the road, maybe? Annie Cleo makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon.